Okay. Thank you for bearing with us. Once again, good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, on behalf of the SCS, I welcome you to this year's SCS Medal Lecture and the award ceremony for the DLC Diploma Students. I know some of you have come from quite a long distance and we're really appreciative that you could make it. Um, it's lovely to see all the friends and family that have come out this evening to, to support the students, so well done. Um, I'd like to say that um, we did lay on a really good reception and I hope you enjoyed the food and the drinks. So that means that you're all ready to enjoy the rest of the evening. Can I ask you at this point if you could just switch off your electronic devices? I sound like someone on the airlines, don't I? Switch <laughs> off your electronic devices or put them on silent just to avoid um, any distractions. So, we begin this evening with the medal lecture, um, the speaker of which is traditionally selected by um, the president. That's me. Um, before I um, in introduce the speaker, I'd just like to say that um, at the medal lecture, traditionally we don't take questions at the end, but I'm sure there'll be um, links and um, contact details for you to take away if you really have questions. And we have run into a bit of the time for the award ceremony, so if that's okay with you. Brilliant. So without further ado, um, I'd like to introduce um, the, tonight's speaker. First of all, I, I'll introduce the person, the recipient of the medal lecture. It's Dr. Michael Danielov. And um, he began his research in the 1970s on pathogenic mechanisms and thanatogenesis of post-aggressive reactions of living organisms. So the research revealed that the best approach to future med medicine would be to start using substances that naturally exist in the body instead of creating and administering new mo mo molecules. With his team of science, he discovered methods of copying nature, actually learning how to put together multiple biological informational substances in physiological concentrations, that's nano and pico quantities, um, that are used by living systems to repair malfunctioning lines of information, communication, and to help preserve their biological stability. So based on his study, um, Dr. Danielov developed the technology um, of a delivery system that is the imitation of a cell membrane. And within this cell membrane, he's been able to incorporate active molecules, which could be delivered to designated places, skin being one of them. With this, um, Dr. Danielov opened a new chapter in fundamental science, later on defined by him as life science nanotechnology. He obtained um, a medical degree in the, uh, the Silly State Medical Institute. I'm sure I've pronounced that wrongly, but it, I think it's Tibli or something. Tbilisi. Beg thy pardon. I hope that's not been recorded. Cut it. <laughs> faculty of, it's in the Faculty of Medicine, and he achieved that medical degree in 1976. He also has um, a PhD in pathophysiology, which he obtained in 1985. However, um, Dr. Danilov is not here with us today due to serious ill health. He actually suffered a stroke um, late last year, and um, so he cannot be here. But he has his daughter here, um, uh, Mrs. Nana Danilov, who has flown all the way from New York to be with us today. So we're really appreciative of that. And I'll just give you a little bit of background on, on her. Can we call you Nana? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, so Nana has worked hand in hand with her father for decades um, to learn about his innovative proprietary technologies and their importance in skin care, personal care, pharmaceutical and nutritional development. She became the brand ambassador, presenting new developments to various audi audiences across these industries. 
Nana studied classical music with a major in piano and holds a bachelor degree from the Manhattan School of Music. She has 15 years experience in the skin industry and she manages Binova retail and media operations. During this time, she managed retail at Barney's, which is a huge department store. Uh, it's, a, it's a posh one, isn't it? Very, yeah, expensive one. Um, and she was the presenter for Bionova um, on QVC UK and the US. Currently, she is brand strategy director at Bionova Incorporated, overseeing expansion of retail distribution in business to business and business to consumer markets with a focus on the penetration of the professional market of dermatologists and podiatrists, as well as licensed partnership opportunities. It is my pleasure to welcome Nana to present this year's SCS Medal Lecture on behalf of Dr. Danielov. Please join me to welcome her. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming. What a full house it is tonight. And it's a real pleasure to be here um, speaking to you about the discoveries that my father created and to share with you his technology and his stories. And um, you will be very captivated by some of the technical information given your background especially. And I know you'll find it useful. Uh, I do have a special message from my father to everyone here today. Uh, a personal message my father says, my first, my apologies for not being here today in person. I'm humbled, honored, and at the same time excited to be in the midst of you to receive the award. And I do so, I wish to recognize the presence of Grace Abamba, who made it possible, and all of you here, dear ladies and gentlemen, who have gathered here tonight. My special thanks to the Bayanova team and I'm that I'm privileged to lead. Thank you and God bless. You know, it's very interesting when we talk about the technology and what we're going to learn today. And, you know, there comes a point in, in, in history and time when we just take a pause and when certain individuals who have toiled and worked very hard make a difference. Things that we take for granted like electricity and modern medications have all come from certain fundamental discoveries that reshaped how we then think about medicine and future uh, technologies that we produce forward. This is one of those moments. What we're going to learn today is not another scientific fact, but it is a new direction that is going to allow everybody to, to re-strategize how they focus on further treatment possibilities. And uh, let's get to know the creator, Michael Danielov. Michael Danielov is an MD and PhD in pathophysiology. Grace Abamba already gave a little history. I'll just kind of give some backgrounds. Dr. Danielov in 1978 founded the Laboratory of Radionuclide Microanalysis of Hormones and Biologically Active Substances in the Institute of Experimental Morphology. He was the chief consultant for the Academy of Science for the former USSR and led projects in the radioisotope field. He's the author of more than 40 openly published scientific articles and one book in his field. And he's the CEO and founder of Bionova and MD Science. So what was Dr. Danielov's initial research goal and how did we end up here? <laughs> Dr. Danielov's original research goal was actually just to increase the survival rate in trauma patients. And what the history of the project was is that the former Soviet government found this uh, question very important and they decided to finance the project for 25 years. I remember my father used to tell me every Tuesday his experiment's budget was $1 million, just to give you an idea. <laughs> So, and that will actually be an interesting factor, how new cell direct came to be because of one of the accidents that happened. And so with that, my father was able to really work with the leading mathematicians, biologists, um, physicians, morphologists, chemists, uh, engineers, uh, and software developers. And in, 1880, in 1981, when I was born, to 1989, he had apparently a lot of time and developed four generation of scintillation beta and gamma ray counters. So he was a very busy man. And so how did New Cell Direct come about? 
So New Cell Direct was an actual accident. The reason we're here was not intended. Uh, my dad always said, if a scientist tells you that he found what he set out to discover, wasn't really a scientific research. The point of science is to start out with a goal and then make a lot of mistakes and find something that you didn't even expect finding. And this is New Cell. <laughs> So it was decades ago uh, when Dr. Danielov, uh, five years into his research, um, you know, had the usual every Tuesday experiments, but one of the experiments on, the, on Tuesdays had to be delayed to, due to administrative work. And so they came back the next day, you know, to con the next week to continue the experiments. And what my father and his team found that the biologically active substances that they had, it uh, became chemically disabled. Okay, so <laughs> because after resuming the experiments that the active ingredients that they had encapsulated in the liposome, they found that became, became chemically inactive, five years of worth of research was chucked. And what he did, he did a very controversial decision to chuck all the research from the five years and start fresh because the data that he collected, he already understood was not stable because the liposome active delivery system, apparently the active ingredients ingredients were uh, becoming inactive after a certain amount of time that they were not aware of. And so this accident uh, began a whole new different direction of the research. Uh, he dismissed all the five years of worth of work and he started from the ground up in aims to deliver, to create a delivery system that would accommodate the actives and ensure better efficacy. After many experiments, it became clear that the best vehicle is the one that the body already uses, the human cell. And the entire team and the new members were assembled to conduct the research and create what we now call New Cell Direct. And, and so the conclusion of the 25 years of scientific research is very simple. Everything that our body requires has already been created and placed within our cells, which have the knowledge of their own self-repair. So the best approach to future medicine and treatment is to use substances that naturally exist in the body in the same ratios and in the same quantities as our body already produces versus administering new and foreign molecules. The human body is perfect, and that is what they discovered, that instead of recreating substances, let's recreate what the body does. And this is our scientific contribution. Based on the 25 years of scientific research and working in harmony with the skin and body, Bionova was founded by Dr. Danilov and his colleague, Dr. Sepper, who is the head of R&D. Bionova today is a New York City-based lab where we utilize life science nanotechnology and the proprietary technologies of New Cell Direct, our delivery system, and OptiPath, which we'll get to know in a second. And based on our two proprietary technologies, we have been producing skincare, nutritional, and uh, um, uh, personal care treatments in those categories. And we have had very good results in treatment effects, which we will get to later. Before we talk about New Cell Direct, it's really important to understand BIT. And what is BIT? Biological Informational Transfer. And OptiPath, which is the uh, science of modeling bionutrient compositions. Communication is really everything. So what is BIT? Dr. Danilov and team developed new equipment, those are the beta and gamma ray counter techniques, to analyze the substances and the communication process between the cells, which is really fascinating. This is the result of the research, the concept of biological informational transfer. You have three stages here. First level formation of signal. Second is the identification of the information. And the third is the transformation of a molecular signal into a biochemical reaction, okay? So this is BIT. BIT is how our cells communicate. And what, that is what the scientists have discovered and learned over the course of years. And this is the process. Which brings us next to OptiPath. OptiPath is a method of bionutrient composition in nano and picogram quantities. Okay, so by imitating the biological informational transfer bit, we're able to support 
and enhance the self-healing and self-repair process when there is a dysfunction. Select appropriate how? Select appropriate bioactive substances indigenous to the human body. Combine multiple complexes from selected bioactive complexes and provisionally stabilize them. And combine the complexes into nanomodules with three uh, identifiers, first degree messenger, informational identifier, transmembrane factors, intracellular transmitters that make up the structure of BIT. In short, to summarize, OptiPath is the technology that allows to reproduce life-supporting building blocks by imitating BIT. We start with the damaged cell. This can mean anything from acne, burn skin, vitamin deficiency to internal ailments. And then we determine what these cells require to heal themselves and correct the problem. The efficiency of OptiPath dramatically increases the healing process from within while lowering side effects. And this is what brings us to New Cell Direct and why New Cell Direct was created. So New Cell is the precise imitation of the human cell membrane. That is our new delivery system. New Cell is an empty delivery system for bioactive substances and OptiPath nanomodules. New Cell Direct can be formulated for all forms of applications topical and intral, and it has simultaneous action to normalize dysfunctional cell metabolism, and it helps to restore BIT with active action of multiple active signaling substances. This allows to reduction of side effects, the time release targeted tissue delivery. New cell can be formulated with controllable time release effects and to also target specific tissues. New cell allows to encapsulate active substances in nano and picogram quantities, which prior has not been available to us before, and ensures their delivery in that quantity dosage. And <clears throat> very important, shelf life. Nano complexes or any combination of active substances combined into new cell can be freeze dried, allowing for long term storage. In comparison, liposomes are unable to go through the freeze dry process and usually are in liquid form, limiting their shelf life. So, what is new cell direct composed out of? It's composed out of oil and water uh, solubles. It has glycoproteins, fatty acids, natural phospholipids, mitophytes phospholipids, unsaturated fatty li lipids, and so on. It secures this composition of the cell, allows to secure unstable and rapidly perishable substances because of the security of the membrane. And it serves as a vehicle to simultaneously deliver multiple active substances that the cells need for recovery. So, what do you have here? You have OptiPath, which are the biologically active substances that naturally exist in the human body. Hundreds of active substances are selected depending on the problem, acne, rosacea, or internal ailment, whatever uh, the concern can be. We have so far applied it to the uh, cosmeceutical category, but this is applicable for pharmaceutical and other technologies, and that is why we're here inviting the scientific community to work with us and to utilize our technology going forward. So, you have the opportunity to have OptiPath. OptiPath is the ability to select hundreds of bioactive substances that naturally exist in the body depending on the dysfunction. So once you know the dysfunction in the body, you can then target and select appropriate active substances to target that dysfunction. But those substances are perishable, correct? So then you have New Cell Direct. New Cell Direct then allows these active substances, whether they're OptiPath or other active substances that are perishable, allows to then encapsulate into the New Cell Direct delivery system. The delivery system is an imitation of the human cell membrane, which is a very strong, therefore, fortress and, and protector of the active substances. And here you go, what we have is the nano complex. So our active ingredients are called the nanocomplexes, which are combinations of OptiPath encapsulated into new cell creates a nanocomplex. Now, 
further going, uh, going forward, this technology can be utilized where you have the new cell direct and you can encapsulate other active substances that other people are seeking to, to assure its efficacy and to create a stabilization. And then you can call it some other substance. <laughs> but our ingredients so far are called nanocomplexes and that is how we derive from them. Nano, uh, the new cell direct has stabilizing media, delivery system comprised out of purified water and uh, protein stabilizers, antioxidants, and uh, other active substances that allow to create a strong membrane. Depending on the particular use of the delivery system, specific ingredients are added in minor amounts to perform the designated purposes. So new cell can actually contain up to 300 active substances, okay? And even if new cell ruptures or is damaged, it will, all, it will maintain 100% of the efficacy of the ingredients because they're not encapsulated into the center of the membrane like in liposomes traditionally. But with the technological advances that we were able to make so far, the active substances are woven into the membrane. If you notice, those little circles are the active substances woven into the membrane, which allows the membrane, even if it's ruptured under, under some conditions, the certain active substances then therefore will maintain their active ingredient capacity performance because they're woven into the cell membrane and not uh, uh, created into the middle center. Okay. So how does new cell work? So basically what new cell does is cell communication is allowed, okay? <clears throat> so these are the three messengers that are happening. So first you have the active substances that are in the active membrane. And because the composition of new cell mimics the cells, the actual human cell membrane, when the two meet, there's a recognition factor which allows for communication and penetration and acceptance of the active substances into the damaged cell. So not only do you have substances that the body produces, but now you've encapsulated them, which also other active substances can be encapsulated, into a delivery system that mimics the human cell. And because it's mimicking the human cell, the damaged human cell can recognize it and allow the penetration. Okay? So that is what this diagram shows us is the communication process between the damaged cell and the substitute's human cell and their ability to recognize each other and interact. So how does new cell compare to our most widely used current de delivery system, liposome? Technology moves forward and liposome has done wonderful things for the industry. But of course we have to move forward in, and create more and more efficient processes. And let's see how now we compare to liposomes. So as we see in the liposome, the active substances are in the middle are in the membrane. So when an, an active substance is encapsulated into the liposome, ladies and gentlemen, the active substances are in the middle, okay? They're just fused into the center. If the, when the membrane ruptures, the active substances, poof, are exposed to the environment and therefore disintegrate and disable their activity. That's how New Cell Direct was created because you know, the scientists were using for five years the liposome. And by accident, you know, after the, that week, the cancellation of the, of the, of the experiments that we following we, week, it was found that the liposome delivery system didn't house the active substances that they put in there for the next following week. And that's when they were set on to create a new delivery system, which is the substitute human cell membrane. So now the difference is the liposome, again, has the active substances woven into the middle of the membrane, and the new cell direct membrane is a complete strong fortress structure which mimics the human cell. Obviously, your cells are perfectly quite capable. And the new cell active substances then are woven in to the membrane, creating an efficiency of delivery and reducing reducing any effects for disintegration because even if ruptured, it will maintain its active substance efficacy because it's woven into the membrane. 
You see, this is what we were talking about. It's basically the active substances in the liposome. Also, the liposome can only really hold one active ingredient. Uh, the new cell direct, even if ruptured, as we see, uh, maintains the active substances, as we understand, because of its uh, membrane. And it can hold up to 300 active substances. Imagine being able to treat patients, being able to combine multiple active substances that the patients need for whatever dysfunction it is, whether it's a pharmaceutical or cosmeceutical concern, and being able to deliver up to 300 active substances in one formulation. That is what we're providing you, ladies and gentlemen, is the capacity to utilize a delivery system which we're sharing with the scientific community. It's not ours, it's yours. This is everybody's delivery system to use and to work with us and to co-create other, other ways that you can use this delivery system to help some of the projects that you're working on to help some, if, you know, increase efficiencies in your research and your works. So, this membrane holds up to 300 active substances, which creates another technological advantage. So let's go over step by step and really see how does the liposome and the new cell direct differ? And what are the technological advances that new cell provides uh, now to our mostly used delivery system? So stabilizing ability, liposome. Liposome has a single bioactive substance encapsulated inside the liposome globule, so you really can use one active substance. New Cell Direct is able to hold multiple bioactive substances incorporated into the cell membrane. Penetration, moderate. The liposome has a low affinity structure and, and composition of the human cell, so the actual interaction between the liposome and the human cell is minimal. New Cell Direct, excellent, imitates the human, human cell membrane and the penetration and the communication process, therefore, is more efficient. Targeted delivery of active ingredients. Minimal. With the liposome, it has no, no tissue-specific features. Okay, this is really important here, ladies and gentlemen, that the liposome has no tissue-specific features and composition cannot sub substantially adjust to bit. New Cell Direct is able to deliver active substances on all three levels of bit. So the New Cell Direct is also able to target specific tissues that are damaged in specific cells and deliver those active substances to the specific damaged cells. Technology, conventional, new, new Cell Direct, new and unique. Okay, loading capacity. This is very interesting, loading capacity. In the liposome, due to the size of the loading capacity of the liposome global, as well as other physical and chemical parameters, is limited, okay? New Cell Direct. It can hold and stabilize oil and water soluble uh, molecules, as well as proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and, mi and their mixtures, as well as multiple active substances. So that's basically, in summary, is that the liposome can hold up to one active substance, and a new cell can now hold up to 300 active substances. Production limitations. This is really important because there's a lot of technologies and a lot of treatments that we're, you know, seeking to create in different forms. And unfortunately, so far, the liposome can only be delivered in a liquid form. The new Cell Direct has a really great capacity, and this is what we do at our lab, and, you know, the, the whole thing goes on, and you could hear the lights, and, and, you know, it's really like a crazy little lab we have, and, you know, and the electricity bill is insane when this happens. So when you're doing the freeze dry, okay, you could hear the whole thing down the block, and um, so you, what you're doing, you're able to freeze dry the active substances, and then this freeze dry powder can be used in any form, liquid, cream, and oral, okay? So this allows for the versatility of the delivery uh, system to be able to be applied in different forms, as well as keeping the shelf life much more extended. Formulation limitations. Liposome has limited adverse effects to temperature, pH, sheer mixing and surfactants and alcohol, et cetera. So liposome is a very sensitive delivery system. You know, it needs certain parameters and cannot intermix with certain active substances and whatnot. The new cell direct is versatile. It can be formulated with active substances with various method productions. So it is capable to uh, undergo different forms of uh, interactions with different chemicals and active ingredients. Shelf life. In the liposome, you usually have a shelf life of up to three months. 
With new cell direct, it's practically unlimited. Um, because again, they're woven into the delivery system, they can stay up to many years because even if ruptured, the deliver e even if a portion of the delivery system, because it's woven and enters the, or it communicates with the cell, those active ingredients in that membrane portion are active and still can communicate. So practically unlimited shelf life depending on various factors. Liposome has done a lot of great things and technology does move forward. So is new cell direct proven? Let's see some clinical data. Just so you understand, our clinical data and all the efficacy tests were conducted by independent laboratories in the United States. And uh, all of our active substances are 100% indigenous to the human body and are non-toxic and physiologically friendly. Okay, so clinical data from the independent laboratory of testing shows that 100% of the test panel, uh, panelists who received the formula containing the active uh, new cell direct delivery system for oily skin experienced positive improvement ranging from moderate to superior. So, this particular test shows what? That you have a patient with oily skin, and we put in the active ingredients targeting to normalize the, the oil production, OptiPath, and it shows the capacity of the delivery system of the new cell to target the damaged oil gland activity, and these are the results. So Bionova's pr product for oily skin reduces indigenous sebum production by 40 to 45% after six weeks of product as, where, as use as compared to the control test and illustrates the important fact that the actual number of active glands remained the same. The on, only the sebum output per gland decreased at each concentration tested. So this is really what I get excited about as a, as a person who has been, you know, in front of patients and clients and has seen their progress physically and is the recipient of many thank you cards from a lot of people. Oily skin is my favorite problem to fix for people because it is a really hard problem because oily skin, you're stripping, you're moisturizing, and that's really it. But what is the source of oily skin? It is hyperactivity of sebum. So if you keep using benzoyl peroxides or salicylic acids to dry out the surface, the source of the condition, which is the hyperactivity of sebum, is still there. So what we have been able to facilitate now as a treatment is we're able to utilize the active substances that are in the skin that target the sebaceous gland activity. The new cell direct is able to easily communicate with the sebaceous gland, which allows the patient or consumer then to have a treatment that actually targets the condition of the source, lowering the production of sebum output, therefore normalizing their oil gland activity and reducing pore size, et cetera, et cetera, and all the benefits. So that's what's exciting. Um, now let's see, for dry skin, same thing. Uh, we had, after uh, nine weeks, 50% of the patients uh, had increased indigenous sebum production. For dry skin patients, what OptiPath and New Cell does, it increases the production of oil. Instead of moisturizing with topicals, oils, and things like that, we're targeting the source of the condition and increasing sebum activity and illustrates that uh, the amount of active uh, glands producing sebum increased up to 32% after nine weeks of product use. Okay, so the result of this study show that 100% of the test panelists who received the formula containing Bionova's actives and new cell direct system for eye area wrinkles and aging experienced positive improvements ranging from moderate to superior. Test result illustrates that in using Bionova's actives and new cell direct delivery system, there was an increase in the velocity of the skin by 28 to 35% after six weeks of compared um, to the control test. So this talks about the anti-aging process and our ability to regenerate new skin cells and to, to treat aging skin. So we basically use the OptiPath and New Cell Direct in, in all of our formulations. And what we do is we have been using um, you know, our technology to produce skincare, personal care, and nutritional supplements. We're inviting 
everybody, scientific community, formulators, to please come ask us questions, join us, and work with us to expand this use of this technology. This technology is created, ladies and gentlemen, for humanity and for the people to, to work. These are our applications so far, but there are so many more applications for OptiPath and so many more applications for New Cell Direct that have not been yet discovered or applied. So I invite you, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to receive a copy of this presentation, if you would like to engage with us in questions, speak to the head of R&D, have your own ideas that you would like to talk about or uh, collaborate with us, please come up to me and give me your name and number. I'll send you a private link to the presentation, and we're happy to address any questions going forward. And this is what we did, and this is Michael Danilov's discovery, New Cell Direct and OptiPath. And we're very excited to share um, this technology with people, and we're very excited from the results that we have been providing everyone, and we open the discussion for further applications with everyone here today. Thank you.